Hey everybody, welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I'm your host, Nicole Simonin, and I help women over 40 lose weight for the last time. Today we're diving into Thanksgiving swaps for foods and how to make your Thanksgiving a little bit more healthier. So if you missed yesterday's episode, I that was part one, so make sure you go back and listen to that, and today is part two. All right, so we're talking about kind of swapping out foods, ingredients to make your Thanksgiving a little bit healthier for yourself and maybe for the people who are attending. So sweet potato casserole. I love sweet potato casserole. Um, my mom used to make it and growing up, it was one of my favorite dishes at Thanksgiving and she would make it with the sweet potatoes and then the marshmallows on top. Um, you could still add the marshmallows, but use like half the amount also, you can cut back on the brown sugar that you're putting in there. A lot of people sprinkle brown sugar on top. If you want an alternative for sprinkling it on top, you could do a couple like crushed pecans or walnuts on top. Um, that kind of gives it a little extra crunch to the, the casserole, um, but all good ways to kind of make it a little bit healthier. Green bean casserole. Some people like it, some people don't. <laughs> Depends on how you make it too. Uh, again, my mom used to make this all the time. I do enjoy green bean casserole. I can't really eat it as much anymore because of the dairy, but you can use a lower sodium cream of mushroom soup as an alternative. You can also add sauteed portobello mushrooms to kind of give it a little more texture. You can also, instead of using fried onion rings, you could air fry your onions for a healthier crisp version or you could pan fry the onions for more caramelization. It kind of brings out the sweetness in the onions and then you know put them on top of the green bean casserole. I like to experiment with different vegetables. So I know one year we had Brussels sprouts. I think it was Brussels sprouts and bacon. Um, what I loved, I did a couple years ago is uh, acorn squash soup. It was absolutely delicious. And what I loved about it is you would cut the acorn squash in half which was very challenging, I might add, but you cut the squash in half and the way you cook it, um, it eventually, you put the soup back into the acorn um, shell, basically, and you can serve it that way. So portion size wise, that would be, you know, one serving for somebody. But try and experiment with different vegetables. You know, I know I use turnips. I'm not, like, I don't mind trying new foods, but um, experimenting wise, I guess I'm a little bit more conservative, but you could experiment with different types of vegetables and test them out and just try them out. All right, the main attraction of the day is turkey. <laughs> I say go for it with turkey. My favorite part of the turkey is the dark meat and the skin, so that's what I'm going to eat. I think turkey is great for protein, um, again, depending on how you make it, you know, if you're deep frying it or if you're putting butter or oil or whatever, again, it's, it's the accumulation of what you've done up until Thanksgiving. So if you want to look calendar year, you know, what have you done from January to Thanksgiving? If you have been constantly overeating throughout the year, Thanksgiving is going to be a big deal if you overeat. But if you are not overeating throughout the year, one day, even four days, five days out of the year is not going to put you over and have you gain a lot of weight. All right, so the desserts. Pumpkin pie. I love the inside of pumpkin pie. I'm not such a huge fan of the crust, like I could take it or leave it. So what I do is I make a version of pumpkin pie that is just the inside of the pie, and then I put whipped cream on top it's dairy free but uh so i don't even bother with the crust we do have pumpkin pie for other people that have crust but that is an option that you can do and just make the insides um of the pie i tend to gravitate uh this was also in one of the previous podcasts so you can listen to that but i tend to gravitate to my favorite foods like what do i really want to eat on thanksgiving and that's what i put on my plate i don't spend time like if I don't want the crust, I'm not going to eat that one or 200 calories of crust that is, is not going to help me. I'd rather just go for exactly what I want to eat. If that makes sense. Um, so I make the inside of the pumpkin pie. And if you do like crust and you're making it, one of the things that you can do to lighten up the crust is you can use less sugar or you can make the crust a little bit thinner. 
also with pies, you could make them into smaller serving size portions. So you can use ramekins or you can use like parfaits and, and scoop them out kind of thing. Um, you could also make smaller versions of pies, like almost like cupcake size. So they're also single serving, you know, it gives people an option. They don't have to guess as to what size they want. It's already there, grab and go. All right. So those are my tips for swapping out your foods. Make sure you listen to yesterday's episode and you'll get all the swap tips all together. Um, but remember, it's really about whether you're hungry and how full you are and what portion sizes you're, you're doing. So really do a stomach check and see how full you are, whether you wanna really eat anymore. I would check in to be aware of like, what are you thinking? Like, are you thinking you're feeling peer pressure from eating? Are you bored? <laughs> Some people are bored. Um, let's not forget that Thanksgiving is supposed to be a day for being grateful for what we have and the bounty that we also have. Um, and I know this year we'll be trying for most people because we're still in COVID. Uh, I know here the numbers are going back up. So your Thanksgiving may look a little different than what it might normally look like. And that's okay. Uh, some of the, you know, if you're with family or if you're, you know, integrating with family and friends, focus on them, focus on the conversations that you're having, you know, and, and be very present with what is going on. Even though the food is kind of the main event, it doesn't have to be. It can be the environment, the atmosphere, the, just the enjoyment of Thanksgiving itself. I mean, we have off on a Thursday, right? <laughs> How great is that? So make sure that you keep your head in the right headspace so you can enjoy Thanksgiving because the average person will typically gain 10 to 15 pounds over the holiday season. And if you have been struggling with COVID weight gain or just even in general, just tr losing weight and you're having a lot of trouble and you feel like you're struggling, you're adding to that by overeating on Thanksgiving. So if you are ready to take action on losing weight for the last time, I can help you. You can get started now um, and have a customized guidance program. I can help you navigate your way through the holiday season and you'll be ahead of the game in 2020. So if you wanna get help from me, you wanna know how we can work together, go to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat and schedule your consult today. All right, I'll see you tomorrow with the next Thanksgiving tip. Take care.